Storm Tracker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Curtis Grevenance. All right, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on this uh, Wednesday evening, the first evening of uh, March, and some clouds are moving in, but shortly, looking in the western sky, you should be able to see very obviously uh, Venus and Jupiter uh, here. They're the conjunction going on tonight till still be close tomorrow, but maybe not as close. What a beautiful first day of March here across uh, most of the state. Look at that blue sky, look, at least looking off towards the east, but clouds are increasing, uh, at least in the western and uh, central part of the state here ahead of the next storm. Not as nice today up in northeast Montana, had a little more in the way of cloud cover and some cooler temperatures, but boy, where we had that sun, it certainly uh, felt warm here. The wind. That will be picking up, especially Rocky Mountain Front, East Glacier area, and then down the divide uh, as well, Continental Divide, and even out across uh, Judith Basin County, Shoto County, Cascade County, all around the Judith Gap area, looking at some pretty strong wind developing through tonight, continuing for tomorrow. Helena Valley will get the wind through in the afternoon and the evening. And then Friday is a very blustery day here for most of the state with some snow showers. That wind will be diurnal, meaning it'll die off uh, as the sun goes down Friday evening. High wind warning until 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. Some gusts maybe to 85 miles per hour. A little snow up in British Columbia, and uh, that is the next storm that will be headed our way. A little storminess kind of all over the country uh, right now. But clouds increasing this evening and through the overnight hours. And there will be a touch of snow in the western mountains tomorrow. Disregard this. Really not going to see much uh, precipitation out across the north central part of the state. But tomorrow afternoon and evening, some pretty good snow showers and bands will be setting up, coming down off of the mountains here, maybe reaching all the way out into uh, Fergus County here. Uh, with a cold front passing through. And then Friday, a lot of instability aloft, and we'll see a lot of snow showers, mainly in the western and central mountains. And some of that accumulation looking pretty good, especially up around the uh, glacier uh, area, where we could see over a foot whitefish range doing pretty well with that as well. Tonight, wind increasing, temperatures not as cold as it has been over the last uh, few nights, we're down in the single digits. And for tomorrow, here comes this next front, mostly cloudy skies, windy for most locations, especially in the afternoon and the evening. And with the front going through later in the day, a couple of snow showers again, closer to the mountains. For Friday, snow showers, central, western mountains, a very blustery day, below average temperatures, a lot of wind into Saturday, a little snow maybe up there on the Rocky Mountain front and in southwestern Montana, but that snow will spread across more of the state as we go through Sunday with temperatures starting to come down. Here's the seven day forecast, some snow showers around Helena tomorrow afternoon and evening. Uh, some of those could put down a quick little coating up to an inch. Friday, some snow showers, a steadier snow will be developing Sunday into Monday. And Look at those temperatures. Highs next week in the 20s. Some of us will have highs in the teens next week, running 20 to 25 degrees below average. 